Hi guys, it's me Jimmy Eric. So now let's get started with the HTML5 and CSS3 program. Before we get started with the program, we need some kind of text editor in which we will code our basically our website by using the HTML5 and CSS3 programming language. Indeed, it's a programming language. So we will talk about that later on. First, we let's download the text editor, which is Notepad++. Notepad++ is the best text editor due to simplicity. Basically, it's not complicated, it's not hard to understand, it's straightforward. Just download it on whichever window version you are using or your Mac. There are tons of options out there. Basically, you can use Aptana Studio, you can use Sublime, you can use Eclipse, I mean, you can use whatever you want to use, you can use. So, I'm just going to launch my Notepad++. So this is our notepad plus plus now we are going to save the file save as Always remember if we are going to save the file for the main page for the home page of any website always use index.html Basically you need a HTML extension at the end so it will tell the web browser that it is an HTML file Basically you can say the web browser is really dumb he really can't figure out basically it's a html5 or a normal text file so now we are going to click on the all file remember never ever ever save the file as .txt it will save as a text file and then the browser is so dumb it will just appear the file as a text file so it's correct now it's a index.html that is that is the file name let's go to main desktop yeah index.html now let's open the file with google chrome there's nothing on google chrome so now we are going to basically lay out the foundation we are going to build the house basically html basically stands for hypertext markup language basically it's a markup language for a document indeed yes we are going to build a single web page in the web development world it's called a document yes a document but you can be a document in, in your microsoft Word with no problem or the in the in the open office with no problem but when you are going to open the your document in the web browser there's a problem basically you can't open the normal document in the web browser basically the problem is that there are tons of tons of devices tons of tons of window version sizes so basically you need some kind of language to make it appear similar on all across devices so now let's get started let's write the number first element our element includes two text always basically this is html basically this is called the opening tag now let's write the closing tag html this is called the closing tag but how you can know which is opening which is closing so to make it easy to understand always use a backslash indeed yes it's not only to make it easy to understand it is even for the web browser if the web browser found there is no backslash so it means the document is not closed and basically the basically the web browser will think the website or the content in the website is still ongoing so basically we write something like whatever we wanna write if we for example do not have the backside the web browser will think the document not closed so it will be a problem rendering the file so always have a closing backslash so that's simple this is called html tag html tag when you combine two tag it's called element indeed it's an element when i'm referring to the element remember i'm referring to this when i'm referring to the tag i'm referring to this now let's get the content we are going to write something in the main web browser window that is called body indeed yes you can imagine whatever body you want to imagine isn't it dirty yeah of course it is now let's close the body so again i said we are for every closing tag we need a backslash backslash body isn't that body cool now we are going to make the text basically appear in much better way we are going to intend the text even you can do it doesn't matter you can make that text however you want white space doesn't matter basically in html 
so we are do we are doing the html5 program remember this thing html5 programming html4 both are same the pro the people get confused the html5 and html3 is a different language no html5 is built on html4 or the html but html5 has something new inside which html4 doesn't have you can say that html5 is a extension pack for the html4 simple as that now you will say oh you're ready of the body right now we are going to write something like Jimmy is so cool but why this is gonna be our main heading Jimmy is so cool but why now we are going to write some kind of paragraph he is a geek okay but how we can basically tell the web browser which is paragraph which is the heading now let's go to google chrome and then now let's we just some kind of tech news website i mean just google it uh cnet okay i want to show you something basically now let's go to the first hacker make off with at least 300 million in the bank this is called the heading and this is called basically the paragraph if you want to become really geek just click on the view page source yeah indeed it's a mass anyway do not be, be scared we are going to write a clean code now let's close basically again i'm telling you this is called heading this is called paragraph even this is heading indeed yes this is even an heading this so how we can know which heading is which heading now let's go get back to the our notepad plus plus text editor now we are going to basically give instruction to this html5 to basically make a difference which is a paragraph which is a heading so basically the heading will should start with h right it's only called h1 and then now we have to close the heading again remember backslash h1 basically this is the heading and then the paragraph is tag stands for p and then p remember a uh, backslash p and now save the file and then we are going to open the file in the google chrome and see what is going on jimmy is so cool why he's a key this is the heading this is a paragraph we want to make the heading or the h1 heading to become lower appear in the web browser basically i mean to appear in a smaller font so you can use the h2 heading i'm just going to copy and paste you must never copy and paste you must basically write the code now we are going to see make it the, the the biggest heading is h1 the second biggest is h2 and the smallest is h6 remember that okay we are done h4 h4 and then h5 h5 and then one more left h6 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 now we are going to i already told you white space doesn't matter i can click enter how many times i like it doesn't really matter you see it's so much white space and then we are going to refresh control r jimmy is cool but why jimmy is cool but why jimmy is cool but why this all are basically the heading remember if you want your website to appear always make some kind of cool catchy heading now let's view the view page source now you can see it is basically it doesn't look like the cnn website mask it look like our simple web page mask is not a mess at all it's quite easy to read basically you can see h1 h2 h3 and then you can compare it and then he is a geek he is a geek now let's get back to the notepad plus plus h1 h2 h3 and then it doesn't matter how much white space you give again i save the file again i refresh it doesn't really matter so again now let's recap in the conclusion this is the html tag plus combined with this one is the html element and this is a body tag whatever appear in the web browser window this whatever the web is appear inside is coming in the body tag this body who shake the body who shake the body okay now let's get back to the topic
basically is appearing the body and then the heading the h1 heading is the main heading whatever you wanna make it appear and then this is a paragraph a paragraph appear in the p tag remember this it appear in the p tag so now let me jump into the detail of the p basically you can see this is a character and then this is also a character and then you can see here i have the p capitalized so never do that yes it will appear this is called bad coding in the programming world you wanna be a bad programmer no always use the correct you can capitalize the p but html5 doesn't recommend the html5 standard clearly said never do it it will make the code ugly hard to basically appear in the web browser some older what is called ie6 can't appear it or can't interrupt interpret it according to what you want basically i mean if i basically broke this one still it will still it will appear appear in the web browser but it will be broken he's a geek and then you can see this less than sign is appearing there's no less than sign wrong. and then you can see uh, basically again it's a broken basically it's still appearing but it's a broken and then now let me show you the view page source P1 is broken. The Google Chrome is not helping us to insert a P tag at the end with a backslash. So it's not a good tag writing. Now we are going to close it the right way. P. So let's recap. This is basically called less than angle bracket or the less than sign. Commonly known as. This is called right angle bracket or called more than sign. Remember. On the keyboard you wanna find you can say the the common man word is less than sign or the less left angle bracket for the right one is called more than sign or the right angle bracket and this is all the closing tag the term tag and the element are often used basically interchangeable the term tag and the element are often used interchangeable this is a tag if I combine these two let me highlight this to become an element strictly speaking however an element compromise the opening and the closing tag whatever lie between is according to the html or w3 3, w3c standard strictly speaking this is only a tag this is only a tag but whatever come inside that it has become element so remember this i'm making hard to make it clear from your mind Remember this thing if you really get what the hell I'm saying you will build solid HTML5 games HTML5 web application like Facebook or whatever you wanna build remember tag tag Whatever come inside now it has become an element. Do you got that or not? So now in a quick note, let us give us a as a title so now you will think the title right now you can see it's just saying index html5 title is what appear in the bar or the tab or whatever you call it but 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 title always come outside the body title will not appear in the main frame or the main box it will appear on the top so it should be always be outside the body it start with title and then again backslash closing basically text title now we are going to write the title let me indent it the title should be yo man yo man now save it and then now refresh it now you can see yo man now let's recap and then let's jump to the conclusion yo man is the title 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 body this is the body h1 h2 h6 is this one it's up to you whatever you want you want to make your hiding appear bigger basically in strictly speaking never ever use this kind of heading for only the font size for example if you want your font to appear in this size you are going to use this basically h4 heading 
it is subheading if if you want your website to appear in google google will think think subheading is not so relevant then a main heading always is actually is the main heading so always use this and then we will teach you basically i will teach you how you can use css3 to control the font so remember that always use the h1 heading for the main heading of your news whatever all that and that control you css to control the size of it and it is a p paragraph tag this is the tag tag element that's so simple subscribe to my channel smg me a kick bye bye